Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Catherine and welcome to a game called The Payne's Creek Killings. Um, now, I've never actually heard of this game. It is about two years old. It was released in 2017. And um, from what I saw on Steam, it, it the, the graphics were beautiful. There was a story to it. You're basically on your own. There's no quest involved. There's no, you know, do this, do that type thing. And I... From what I saw, it looked absolutely beautiful, really, really did. So I'm going to go in and, like I said, I've never played this before, never even seen it before. And I'll just have a look at the controls. Uh, camera sensitivity, toggle sprint. That might be okay. Because on camera invite. Okay, so WASD as normal and a few others, right. Cool. Um... Okay, so it's got a timer out there too. Okay, so this apparently can be anywhere between 10 and 20 hours, depending on how you play, and and adventure games like this do tend to be that cool. So we're gonna start a new game and see how old it's like. This game seeks to eliminate, up to a certain degree, the experience of investigating a murder case. You'll need to search clues, search each location carefully, find clues to proceed, and use your observation deduction skills to uncover hidden secrets. We recommend writing down your own notes and or take advantage of the in-game camera. The game also saves whenever you're into a location. Should you encounter a bug or problem with playing, such as being stuck behind furniture or getting pushed out of the game world, simply, simply use the reload button in the main to transfer you back to the location. The game will continue there and retain everything you found up to that point. Good luck. Nice. I like the sound. Hey, uh, Janet. So the chief has entrusted you with my assignment, hey? I hope it didn't interfere with your weekend plans. Anyway, he uh, told me to call you and fill you in on it. You remember the murder that happened a few years back that was never solved? The one at Payne's Creek where the ex mayors wife was killed? Apparently this is um, well, fictional too. Well, the property's being auctioned off soon, so we don't have much time to dig up anything that's relevant to the case. So see what you can find. Hopefully it'll be something worth publishing. Hopefully. Anyway, take care. I'll well, see you on Monday. Okay. Bye. Bye. What was your name again? I forget. Come on. Where's the, where's the, where's the graphics? Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. August 3rd, 1999. In 1995, Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman and the wife of a former mayor, was murdered and dragged into the front of her own house. The case was never solved and a killer was never found. It was rumoured that a private investigator was in Payne's Creek some time later. There's nothing more on that. Last week, we received news that, as, that large swaths of Payne's Creek's country will be auctioned off soon. We would like to revisit the story and attempt to find out the following. Who killed Vivian Roberts? What was the motive? And what was the murder weapon? Please submit your findings and a front page photograph of your story to be published. Don't forget to bring the camera. Okay. Um, okay. It's mouse to look around, WAS to be moved around. Population zero. Welcome to Payne's Creek. Isn't this just beautiful? I mean, the detail. No, we don't want to do it. The detail, the, the leaves falling from the trees, disappearing into the road, but the leaves falling off on the trees. Um, ah, shift to sprint. Remember. No. What was that? Okay, so look at the detail on the fence. This is just beautiful. The graphics, my god, I'm gonna spend all day looking and the bricks on the building, they look real almost. Wow. So, um okay, so something I posted on the window it might be important. Sheriff's office. One black pine road. Okay, what's this say? Cemetery gate padlock. They're in 13, 1131. So C for camera. Uh, right mouse button, left mouse button to take the photo. There we go. Cool. See you again. Okay. 
Okay. Cameras used for capturing any important investigation. Please do view pictures taken. Okay, cool. Nice. I took good photos. Um, look at the sidewalk. My God, this is beautiful. Like I said, this, year, this game is like two years old, so it's relatively new. Closed for good. Yep, well, we're going to change that, aren't we? The shadows, the grass moving in the wind, the rocks. Can we jump? No, we can't jump. Oh, this is beautiful. Alright, so can we go in? Left mouse button. Okay. So, yes, there are loading screens in between. So, it's not open world, but man, it's. Okay. Auto saving. Right, so it saves every time you open up a door into a building. So, that's the exit. That looks that looks like a light switch. Okay, cool. Uh, no, let's keep the light switch open. Uh, oh, okay. So what have we got in here? We've got a trash bag. Can we zoom in? No, we can't zoom in. Or can we? I don't know. We've got something. Ah, yes, we can zoom in. Okay, cool. Use the right mouse button to zoom in. Good to know. Okay, so nothing in there. That's an exit. It's a jail cell. Blinds. Good. I didn't really want to go into a jail cell anyway. So what's in here? So we've got what looks like a bathroom, got a sink, got a medicine cabinet. Which we can't open. We can open these doors. Doesn't look like anything's in there. There's a toilet there with toilet paper. It's quite dark. So night switches won't work. Find another one to another way to see in the dark. Okay. Torch maybe? What's this? Find another one to see. Okay, so looks like an office. Ah, torch. Mouse to rotate the item. Right click to whoop. store this item in the inventory. L to toggle flashlight. Ah, cool. Alright. Uh what's this? A map. Does it looks like a map? Payne's Creek. Yeah, it's definitely a map. This reminds me of Silent Hill a bit too. Without all the monsters and stuff. M to open. Cool. Um, can we open those doors? Oh, they're not doors. They're stuff. I don't know. What's that? Okay, can't see anything from outside. What are they? Chewies? Microwave? Okay, cool. Lovely painting. Yeah, it sort of reminds me of Silent Hill. And hi, this is Stephen. I just wanted to make sure the package was sent. Again, I'm currently at Anne's Courtyard. Any extra info you have would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Um. Et. Okay. Um, we've got some. Can we read those? No, we can't. Can't read those. Can we turn on the light? No. Classified. Nope, it doesn't work. Okay, so obviously we need to find a code somewhere to be able to open that. What have we got here? Dear Sheriff James Howard, due to the decreasing population of Pines Creek County over the recent years, we've decided to dem delegate manpower elsewhere. This letter is to inform you that you've never been that you have been reassigned to Grand County starting the 14th of May to 1998. Please report to our office here before May 12th, 1998. Okay. Journal. Letter or document. Okay, cool. Um, read? Okay, that's the same. Okay, so we've got an envelope here, which is more or less the same. Toggle crouch. Oh, left control. Why? Why do we need to toggle crouch? Ah, oh, a key. Fold. 
disc. Okay, so it says disc. Alrighty. Is that a piece of paper? We can't read it. Or can we? No. No. Scott Brooks, Paint Creek Trinity Church of Pastor's son, was suspected of killing Vivian Roberts. Witness reports seeing suspect fleeing from murder scene late night. The police apprehended Scott Russell yesterday. Continued page four. Shortly after the call, it was continued. No, that seems to be it. Okay, so he's a suspect. Uh, cup and okay, so it's locked. Search for the keyhole or lock. So that looks like a keyhole. I. Okay, yep. View use. Okay, what have we got? Whoops. Let's report update what happened to Vivian Roberts. Scott Brooks, the only suspect of the murder case, was apprehended a few days after Vivian's body was found. According to our investigation, someone saw Scott around 11.30pm near the woods north of the mansion. Two hunters were looking for more wood for their bonfire when they heard shouting. They witnessed Scott and Vivian arguing. However, they were too far to hear the content of the argument. Six months prior to Vivian's death, Scott was fired from working at the mansion. She cited Scott's, Scott for tardy work and rebellious behaviour. She also prohibited Scott from visiting the mansion and meeting Trish, Trisha, who by then had a close relationship with Scott. We're currently investigating the case. Scott is the main suspect. Okay. What's that? Another key? Or gate key. Okay, cool. Um, open. Nothing in there. Open. Wait. R. Vivian Roberts' renewal was held this afternoon. Bernard the butler. Dorothy the head servant. Derek the family chauffeur. And his mum, Wanda. Who is fighting cancer attended Vivian's husband Charles attended. Vivian's husband Charles came with their daughter Trisha. Charles did utter did not utter a word. He was very quiet. Most of the town came and paid their respects at her funeral. Halfway through the ceremony, Trisha started to weep loudly. Dorothy brought her elsewhere and the crying died down. I noticed that Dorothy looked tired. It must have been tough to take care of Trisha. She's been having multiple breakdowns. I can't blame her. With a lot of a mother, with the loss of a mother and a boyfriend being accused of the the, the killer, it must have taken a toll on her. I feel sorry for the whole family. Town is playing straight. Uh, so, okay, six months since Bird was killed. Okay, um, Pines Creek Community Hospital is officially closed, and marine patients have been allocated to other hospitals that will provide suitable services. Uh, blah blah. Okay. Oh, don't we? Oh, okay, so we can't keep that. Um, can we move the chair? We cannot. We cannot us with those. They can't be interacted with. Can we interact with the fireplace? They said that almost everything in here is interactable. And things can be hidden without you realising it. Like you might be looking at something and not even realise that is it's actually... Um, oh. So we can't read it, we can't put it in inventory. Okay. Uh, okay. They look like. What do they look like? Oh, they're the blinds. Okay. I just thought they look like um, things. So this looks quite quite dark. So F to toggle the flash. No, what's the flashlight? L. Ah, here we go. Okay, what have we got in here? Oh, we've got something like bleach or something. Can't pick it up. Whatever it is. Uh, can we open this? Uh, no, we can't open that. Thought it'd be important because. It looks like something you could open. Oh, L. No? Okay. Can't turn on the tap, so there's nothing in here. There's a light. Can't turn on the light. Well, alright then. 
out we go. So, I think we found a key that we can use. Oh, wait, hang on. No, okay, I thought zoom in might help, but no, okay. Um, alright, let's exit and um, see where the key to the gate leads. So far this game is pretty cool actually. such a cool game. I mean, just look at the detail. Oh yeah, we can sprint. Ah, oh yeah, so yeah. Look at the detail. I mean, seriously, this game... Okay, so those are strange grooves again. I thought they were just the blinds, but they look like... Looks like a, a weight? I don't know. Bin. Is there something in the bin? I don't see anything in there. Okay, there's a bench, a fishing rod. Can we fish? It seems quite odd. Mm, it looks like stone actually. It looks like it's rusted. What have we got in here? Number five. It looks like a little box or not. Let's just, just walk around a bit and see what else we can find. Stairs going down. Yes, but it's blocked off. I mean, that's just gorgeous, really. Seriously. I'm guessing that's where Vivian lived. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, jeez, this is gorgeous. Do we have a knuckle here? Let's show where we are. Let's, let's start from the first house, shall we? don't have a key. And there's a tap back on the power. Alright, well, that's locked. That's good. Um, hmm, nice. Alright, let's see. It's locked, okay, so we can't enter there. And I don't think we got. I don't think we've got a key for that. No, we've got a flashlight. View. Janet Kelly. Alright, um, uh, what's this? Oh, that's a camera. Okay. Alrighty. So, can we open up this? We can't. We've got nine, so we've got... No, nope, nothing there. No hidden stuff. I think we need a screwdriver for that. we we'll go through here. Jeez, that was loud. Okay. I heard something behind there, but never mind. Okay, so, oh, what's this? Electrical stuff. Electrical stuff. There's a breaker. Can we move it? No. Nope. Warning, electrical panel. Oh, I don't like touching electrical stuff, but okay. Um, so we've got some bins here, some trash bins. Can't interact with them. Oh God. It's locked. Okay. Yep. You know, this also reminds me of the Secret Garden a bit because of the um, the environment. something soon. There's another breaker switch we can't be interacted with. There's 
it's a dumpster. Can we go dumpster diving? We cannot. And he warns us against it. Nice touch. Um, okay, so... So let's just see what else we can find. Let's see what was down here. That can't go there. Ah, oh, this is where we were before. Was it? Oh no. I keep pressing E. Played Silent Hill too long. Oh, we can enter. What room, what place is this? Now apparently also places unlock as the game goes on, so... Alrighty, what have we got? Oh, the lovely painting. Lamp, can we turn the lamp on? We cannot, no drawers. Okay. Bottles of wine? I don't know. I don't think anybody's gonna... Already have one. So we don't need another one. Hi, uh, this is Oliver Gibson. I just wanted to thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days, and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> in the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. Okay. We turn on the lamp. Ned Merle, Barbie Nomad, Fran Reynold, Hal Timothy, Haunt, Norm Aiden, Stephen Moss, Clancy House. Stephen Moss, he was the one. Was it Stephen Moss? I can't remember. Got some plates here, got a little candle holder, and a lovely painting again. Oh, okay. Nice. Mm. Very nice. Like I said, the graphics in this game is just simply amazing. As you can see. Wine bottle and what's this? Nothing. Please keep her please keep community hospital close its doors after six years of service. Okay, continue page six. We can't continue. Here's the key that you requested. Seven block Black Pine Road, Payne Street, NL. That's the key. There we go. Alright, so I wonder what key that is. Um, I. Found the reception desk at Anne's Courtyard Inn and Suites. Address whatever is written on the paper next to it. So, Seven Black Road, I think. Missing Joshua S. Taylor. So there's 13. 13 is 5 feet it's taller than me. Nice, okay. Pine Creek Annual Fall Festival. Okay. Gone but not forgotten. Share your memories. Okay. What can you do if you are locked out of your car? The locked end of the rock tool is in. Okay. Just teaching people how to um, break into cars, I guess. Stevie's Barbershop. It's the same Steven. Sunday Worship. Okay, what else have we got in here? We've got dartboard. Dart scoring. Can we play darts? We cannot. Okay. Disappointing, but kind of everything. Open. 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 Nothing anywhere. But Nice, nice touch. Um, okay, nothing. I don't think anything was there. Lovely painting. No, so let's. Looks like this is a motel or hotel of some sort. Okay, so what we got in here? We've got some books. Got a. Okay, so turn off light. Okay. I don't know whether there's batteries, but we got enough light in the place, so we can't open those drawers. Uh, okay, 
Well, Sassai. Reminder, letters or documents are in Gesco to receive the written. Okay. Uh, whatever that is. We've read that. Examine that. Block toolbox. Okay. Okay, have we got the key to that? No, I don't think we do. Okay, so that's a lot. That shows the register. They're all a lot. Okay, cool. Uh, right, what else? We've got a broom and pan. Da Vinci one. Okay. Champagne linger bowl. Ling bowl? I don't know. Can you drink it? Okay, that's locked. Why would they lock that? That's interesting. Okay. Either that's empty or filled with very murky water and what was that? What was that sound? Pick up. Pick up. So we've got 204, 202 and 203. Rooms we may be able to go to. Alrighty. Let's explore a little more. Doors are open. Nothing in there. Do I need any of those? No, okay. Um, alright. Uh, L for flashlight. Nice. What's this? Alright, the bathroom. Again, we can't open that up. Can we open the doors? Yes, and yes. What do we got? Whatever that is. Bleach, maybe, and a cloth. And some white. Okay, that doesn't make any difference. That is very close to the door. I don't think you can get anybody in there. I don't think you can even get a child in there. Here's some usual customers you might want to memorize this. Church, 46 Silver Boulevard, 20 Stone, Fairton and Roberts Estate. Okay, so hopefully that will... No, it doesn't? Okay. Um, Alright, so nothing there of interest. I think we're 2000... 2000. 202, 3 and 4. So what's that? It's like a... thing? I don't know. Um, nice painting. We can't pick it up, can we? I'm hearing so much things, so many things in this. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, we have 204 though. I, uh, 204 use. There we go. Um, so who lived in 204 again? I forget. Okay, so bathroom. Okay. Turn on, ah, there we go, and nice. Nice looking bathroom. Thought there was a litter or something. Nothing out the window. <laughs> Bible, anything else? No, I guess we can close that. Like I said, this game in doesn't give you any hints or anything. Apart from the various um, um, letters and stuff that you'll find, just lets you lets you explore on your own and do your own thing, really. Which is pretty cool as far as game mechanics go. Is there something he did in there? Oh no, it's just a vent. Okay, what have we got here? Bible and a lot of clothes everywhere. Okay, fair enough. What about the bathroom? Again, the toilet seems to be very close to the door. But at least you get some big room there. Uh, what have we got? Cloth and bucket. 202, that's the last key that we have. Okay, so we've got some drawers. Interesting painting. Again, I keep on hearing things. I'm not sure whether this is meant to be a horror game, but I keep on hearing noises. Holy Bible. 
pull again. Can we, oops, hang on. Uh, maybe we should be doing that. It's quite old. Okay. I don't think we've got the key to 201. What does this say? Dear Saven, thank you for your payment. As stated in your rental agreement, however, when the re when the payment is not received by something or other, you must pay additional rent because of late charge or because you did not qualify for the rent discount. The required additional amount was not included in your payment and therefore it is now due. Please attend the additional required rent amount of $85 at once to bring your credit balance up to date and remove it from the delinquent list. This amount must be paid within seven days from the date of this notice. Thank you for your prompt attention. Rosalie P. Past you. Okay, so we can't enter there. We can't look out the window. Um, maybe we should look at the Bibles to see whether they have anything. No, nothing. Okay. Let's leave that door open because why not? Um, Bible. No, nothing on there. Okay. Sometimes they have writing and stuff. But not this time. Okay, so I think for now we've looked at all we can in here. Not sure what else we can do in here, but we'll revisit it when we can. Okay, so this is the first bit of Payne's Creek Killers, I think it's what it's called. Um, so far, it was absolutely amazing. The graphics are stunning, as you can see. The sound is creepy without being too overwhelming. And it's just, yeah, anyway, um, I'd love to do a, a, um, a series on this. Um, I like it. I hope you like it too. So I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.